Welcome back to the Highly Original Podcast. I'm Joe Martino. Mike Lionary. And we're on episode I Don't Care Anymore. So we got a good... Uh, it's 24, Joe. Oh, man. Uh, okay. I care. All right. I care. All right. So we got a we got, we got a special guest for you guys today. Uh, we got Anthony Ionieri, How Mike's we brother. How are we doing? I'm here. The it's live. Man. The drip man That's, himself. It is yeah. the drip man ant. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, we're, we're happy to have you on. Uh, we'll be talking about Great basically we're having Great we're having Anthony guy. on because uh, he's a big Family Guy fan, and today's nostalgia topic is Family Guy, so that's why we're we're bringing him on. And he's also a lead voice actor on Public Decency. You guys listening? You know, yeah, the show we got in the works. Yeah. So there you go. So a little it all kind of coincides. Well, well, with the show. Right, time well, will tell. Well, time will tell. What? Which character? The. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Mark the polar bear. Mark the polar bear. I want yes. to play Mark. Very excited to play the role. See where it goes. It's going to be right. good. It's going to be good. All right. Awesome, man. And, uh, Anthony, any, anything else you want to introduce about yourself? I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just... Um, let's get this flaw out of the way before it gets brought up. I do collect cologne. Okay. So, um, well, before I get bashed... You, spo- you spoiled my surprise. <laughs> before I get bashed... <laughs> Way to railroad that segment. I love cologne, so um, if you like any, just hit me up. Drip Man Ant on Instagram. Okay, are you selling the cologne? All right, that's okay. So, all right, basically, <laughs> you kind of railroaded what I wanted to, you know, talk about with the cologne. So, every time I, I, I see Anthony uh, as a blade, you know, when I come over to record, he has, like, new cologne. And he's always telling me, like, Joe, got two bottles coming in. Joe, I got five new bottles coming in. And, like, I think it was, like, two weeks ago, I came, and he had, like, a table filled with all these different colognes. And, like... Not cheap cologne, either. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's like, like, just put that out there. Yeah, like, like, it's, like, you know, it's, like, designer colognes. And $200 I'm like, a bottle. It's all right. And I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, looking at him. I'm, like, what's, what's he doing with all this? Like, what... And when I ask him, like, you don't really... You're just like, I like cologne. So, like, what? Are you selling it? Uh, what are you doing with all this cologne? Well, at the moment, it's just more so like a hobby I have, I guess, on the side. Why? I don't know. <laughs> s- smelling nice is, makes you feel good. All right. It makes you feel good about everything. All right. Well, all right. So, I guess I guess real quick before we go into our main topic, on, on the topic of cologne, what, Anthony, what would you say? What's, like, your favorite? What What's your, like, favorite classic one? And what's your, like... Unknown one that you would recommend to everybody. Um, favorite classic probably Blue Day Chanel. It's pretty good. One that hasn't been like really popular. It's like John Car Noir. No, it sounds funny. Mate, mate. Uh, I don't know. There's a couple. I got this Cartier. It's a Cartier Parfum. That's pretty good. Just came out not too long ago. That's great, really great stuff, but not a lot of people have it. Except for you, right? Except for me. So what are you trying to say? Uh, like you're better uh, than most people? If I'm being honest, <laughs> yes, because I got that bottle today. I did get All two right. two shipments in the day. <laughs> like, is this oh, the yeah. bottle that you were pissed off about that was like in Bryn Mawr but not here for like days? Yes, it was in the Postal Service office for like a week. Yeah, and you I think was, they were using it? I think so. <laughs> like, did it come that empty or was that just it, like a quick spray you did? I think they filled it up with water. Um, all right, there you go. Pay three hundred dollars for all that. All that. So. Oh man, I'm proud. No, yeah, I just, I, I just, yeah, I like it's every time I come over here though. He's like, got a new bottle, got a new bottle coming. <laughs> I'm like, it's good stuff. And man. It's like, it's like, it's, 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 it's enough colognes that it's, it's a little bit like. It's a lifetime. Excessive. It's a little bit like <laughs> unnerving. <laughs> the amount of cologne that one. Dude, the had. one night. Like it's like it's kind of like. Ooh, it's just like the beginning of like a horror movie, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like we're gonna use this to yeah, like, like what's dissolve going on the body. Here? Well, yeah, what was the cologne, dude? That you you brought home one night? And I'll be quick. It was like two in the morning, and it, like shows me. You look at this cologne, and it has like an LCD screen on the bottle. Oh uh, yeah, you and you can like you customize that it. Too. That's actually my Montclair cologne. It's got a Bluetooth LED screen, so you can pair it with your phone and basically customize the text. Kind of like, why? It's kind of why I got it. I also, <laughs> I also picked up a bottle of Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. Okay. Also <laughs> very, very stunning. Works very well. Performance of it. It's pretty good. It lasts no, a while. It smells great. 
I no, like yeah, it. and okay. to be honest, though, like I, I am gonna be trying to get a new cologne soon, so I'm, I probably am gonna talk to you, consult yeah. you about about what new scent I should see. The thing is with that, there's one last thing with it. Yeah, is like when you have different colognes, they're honestly for like different times and like different settings and moods. So like if you're like, I guess it's like a fall kind of season, you wear something more like spicy, like something with like a cinnamon smell. Okay. And if it's like, like winter, a whiskey smell, like basically like more like of like a like woods, yeah, like, like a masculine like. smell, like a leather and like wood and pine, like stuff like that. And then like if you're like winter time and it's more cold outside, I guess more so of like a mint kind of smell, like something like you, okay. you could see wearing in winter. That stuff, it really does fluctuate because like different colognes can honestly ruin the mood. Because if you have like a really club scent and you're just like chilling. It can be like really aggressive to people, like oh, okay, why are you wearing yeah, this? Like, right. this is something like you should go out to eat. You're going somewhere nice. Oh. You wear this cologne. You're not trying to attract a mate. Yeah, basically. All right. I mean, like, okay. No, that's actually interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was like, there you go. I mean, you learn something new every day. Jeff. Yeah, I, mean, I was just trying to like kind of make fun of him, but like now I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, like, <laughs> it's good. Your face went from like, like a grin to like intrigue. I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that makes sense. It's pretty <laughs> interesting once you get into it. No, yeah, all right, all right, awesome. But um, to kind of, kind of get to our our main main topic for today, uh, well, actually, real quick, uh, Mike and I were equally making merch today. Joe, be honest, you made all the merch, okay? Yeah, right. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just. Essentially, guys, I watched <laughs> as Mike like operated like industrial machinery and just like <laughs> made fun of him. <laughs> yeah, you mocked me the entire time. And for those of you that don't know me, I actually don't mind being mocked if it's funny. And what Joe was saying, I'm not gonna lie, was not funny. Oh, and I mind it. And I'm gonna oh, call this call you out right now there. Oh, no, I'm man. kidding. It was funny. Joe, you just got to realize, like, when you mock me or make fun of me, you don't got to explain that you're kidding. I know you're kidding. No, you, no, it was just a few... You'll never hurt my family. A few times. I was just like... I mean, you could hurt my family. Well, some people are pretty sensitive. Like, Ant, like, I'll cook a full course meal for these guys. Yeah. Like, I'll chef it up, and then Ant will be like, yeah, the chicken's kind of dry. Needs like, to, in my salt. soul, I want to kill mm-hmm. him. But, like, I like, he's like, nah, it's my brother. He's kidding. No, yeah. He's joking. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes it's a little bitter. But, uh... He can work on this cooking. This is why skills. I didn't want him on the show, Joe. Yeah, this no. is... No, no, no. <laughs> no really... but yeah, so but basically what I was trying to get to uh, before Mike uh, did all that... Um, really interrupted. ...there, um, we, uh, we, well, the merch is is coming on its way. I'm yeah. actually looking right now at a couple of shirts and hats that, that uh, Mike got done. So we are... <laughs> you didn't like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, no, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take credit for. Let's just say Mike's play. not good at his craft. <laughs> no, no, they, no they, they, they look good. They look good. Hang on, each, now. come on, not man. the merch. Not the merch. We're the trying, we're trying, looks, to, we're trying to sell the merch. merch. <laughs> the merch looks great, but Mike's craft and food just isn't that. Oh. that good. It's kind of um, a bummer. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Mike, man, I mean, <laughs> you call me a chef every other day of the week. I lied. It's. It was all like a hoax. It was all just like a gimmick kind of thing I was doing. I was just trying to make you feel good. Thanks. Yeah. What, well, Anthony? Do you cook a lot or no? No. 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 Mike gave me very low confidence to cook. So like Mike just cooks and you like criticize him for Basically, it. Basically, like, yeah. Just uh, like shaves me for it. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. I just watch him cook for eight hours and I just talk <laughs> on it when it's done. Right. It's pretty much what I do. My yeah. Little brother. Yeah. Hey guys, Joe here. Are you looking for some new music? Want to get into a new artist? Check out P. Danks. He's a pop and rock musician from Austin, Texas, who has played the local scene there for several years at venues such as the Moody Theater and J.W. Marriott. He can be found on streaming platforms such as Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Here's a portion of his song, Some Dreams, which he wrote after being dropped by his acting agency. He took inspiration from the experience and the song, I Dreamed a Dream, from the musical Les Miserables. Diverse in his sound, this song definitely calls to mind 1980s synth-pop 
and alternative bands such as The Killers. It's nice to have someone to hold. You'll find your way someday. Some dreams just cannot be. I've taken a lot of on top of all of it. I feel it all so Some dreams just cannot be. Well, guys, uh, today, of course, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're doing Family Guy, which is the animated sitcom from Fox that was created by Seth MacFarlane. No, I knew. Mike said right, Malvin right. said MacFarlane. <laughs> I just had to catch my breath. All right, and it centers around the uh, Griffin family, and they live in uh, Rhode Island. They're like an Irish Catholic uh, family, you know, and they includes Peter, his wife Lois, sons Stewie and Chris, and Meg, and their daughter, and their talking dog, Brian, who is also voiced by Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane voiced a lot of characters, but actually Brian is, is, is his, like his, his actual his talking natural, voice. Yeah, his natural And I think voice. his... I think I have read. He's sort of based off of Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, kind yeah. of. He's sort of like a, his political ideals. Yeah, like, his, like his kinda, musical taste. Yeah, yeah, all that. So, the show has been running since I think two thousand. Oh, nineteen ninety nine. I was going to say, right, yeah, I was okay. made in ninety nine. All right, so since nineteen ninety nine, it's still on the air, and um, you know, it's become. Pretty much a staple of adult animation uh, since that time, you know, along with shows like The Simpsons and South Park. And yeah, I'd say that's sort of the it's a good synopsis. Kind of yeah, good. Yeah, and you know, good. it's it's one of those shows where every episode they can kind of restart. You know, the, the events of the previous episode don't necessarily affect. So, it sort of often centers around, like I'd say. Peter getting into some crazy antic, right. and then Stewie and Brian getting into a separate antic, and that's kind and of... And then, yeah, they kind of coincide. May, and, and then sometimes they maybe have Chris or Meg will have a, a story. Right, then, right. Know. But I'd say I'd say that's the generic... No, nah, that was a good plot. synopsis. You hit the nail on the head there. Especially with Seth MacFarlane and the whole Brian thing. I mean, Seth MacFarlane voices so many characters on the show. Yeah, It's no, just crazy, he, like, that he makes them all sound so different. Yeah, I mean, I, to, I think... He does Peter, Stewie, Quagmire. Brian, and Quagmire off the bat. Dr. Hartman. Dr. Hartman. Uh, Tom Tucker. Uh, Lois' dad. Yeah, Lois' yeah. dad. Yeah, he, he does, and I think he does like like side characters too a lot. But yeah, I, yeah, for sure. he, he, he's like half the main cast. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So guys, to kind of help us break down, you know, Family Guy, yeah, kind of get into the show, um... Who's everybody's favorite, like, main character? So, I'm going to define that as, like, the, like, like a family member. A Griffin member. A Griffin yeah. family member. Definitely Stewie. He's or maybe one of the neighbors, too. I'd, I'd say I'd say the neighbors could count, too, So if you want to choose that. Okay. I think still Stewie. He's just, like, a little menace. Like, he's just a little baby that goes around and does whatever he wants, and, like, no one understands what he's saying except Brian. Well, and then, see, so that's the interesting thing. So, like, Stewie in the show is, like, this evil genius who speaks with a British accent for some reason. <laughs> and he, as you were saying, he's, like, a mess. He's always, like, especially early episodes, he was, like, evil. He was a terrorist. Like, I mean, like, he, he always like, conspired against his, his mom. mom. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that was, like, his mission was, like, literally to kill his own mother. <laughs> like, that was, that was, like, his goal. Uh, but... Yeah, like, so you're like, touching on that, like, he's, like, always, like, a menace, but, you know, I think Chris can understand him sometimes. Yeah, I feel like, like Chris knows like, his knowledge. A like, sometimes. Bit. But, like, Brian's the one who consistently can understand. Stewie, well, like, to the fullest. But it's funny, because they've even made fun of that in the show. Like, they've referenced that, like, Stewie can be understood in certain episodes, I think there's like one where he, like so he's like, are you one of the characters that can understand me? <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like like they've even like kind of kind of like poked fun on that, fun at that, but I don't know, like I guess like yeah, like I don't, I don't know, Any, anything else you want to like 
go into on like why you like Stewie. Really Stewie. I think it's just his whole character is just good to me. Like he's just like a great character. Like the whole concept of him. Like do you like Stewie now or like yeah, dude, early Stewie? Early Stewie because he was more of like a menace. Like he <laughs> was going like to. Surprise, Mike said he was a, he was like a, he was like a <laughs> domestic yeah, terrorist. He, was, he had like <laughs> a whole like evil closet genius, of like he, weaponry. He was just a savage. He would literally just try to kill his family. Like that was just his goal. Like just kill his mom. It was pretty messed up, but no, yeah. I, it, 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 it I mean the whole sh- the whole show's messed yeah. up. But. Yeah. I mean, I I have to say, I like newer Stewie, where he's more of just like a kind of like a a Rick Sanchez type like mad <laughs> scientist. <laughs> yeah, like he know? doesn't have that edge anymore. And I'm okay with that. He's like, soft. I think he's like I think because I think he's funnier, and I think the adventures he gets in with Brian are like funny. Right. No, I, so, I, like, I agree. I I'm agree. not. Yeah. Like I, I can appreciate early Stewie where he's like an evil genius, but. Now, now, who's your favorite of the... Who's my favorite... Family Guy clan. Of the Family Guy clan. I mean... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with, actually... I mean, I was, so he... So in, in the show, uh, Peter has... He hangs out with uh, his neighbors, Joe Swanson, <laughs> uh, Glenn Quagmire, and... Uh, Cleveland Brown. Right. And, I don't know, guys, do you think, is it bad, like, can I choose one of them? Would you consider them main characters? Yeah, or, for or sure. Yeah. I'd consider them main characters. More side. I know, I'd say, like, guys like Mayor Adam West, like, He's more, they're a side, side character. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go with Joe Swanson. So, you know, to kind of explain to the listeners, Joe Swanson is, um, oh, Anthony's getting all excited because he does impressions. Hey, Peter. It's talking to Quagmire. That's really all I got. Yeah. yeah so they, that's what that's is. that's what Joe sounds like. <laughs> but Joe Joe Swanson is actually he's voiced by uh, Patrick Warburton, who uh, some of you guys might know. He voiced um, Kronk, Kronk in the Emperor's New in Groove. Emperor's New Groove, and he was Putty on Seinfeld. He was in Ted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's he was. he was in the B movie too. Yeah, he, yeah. He was like the bad guy in the yeah. B movie. But he's got a very distinctive like baritone voice, and he's a. Uh, Peter's neighbor, he's a um, he's a cop, but he's also a paraplegic, and he's able to perform like his his like cop duties despite you know not having use of his legs and needing a wheelchair to get around. But that's like some of the humor is like he's able like when he's a cop he's able he's like fantastic, but right. then, like when he's just in his house like you know he like struggles. <laughs> With with not having legs, and it's I like sort of interesting. And but, I like how there's so many different like stories of like how he got paralyzed. Uh, yeah, like the first it, one was like he chased the, the, the Grinch, Grinch, the Grinch yeah. like paralyzed. And then one was like a whole other character, like they had like so it's just like robber or killer that was on the loose for like so many years, yeah. and he was like he's the reason I'm paralyzed. And then one time they were running from like a train. Yeah, he, <laughs> and, like, ran, over, he yeah. Got ran over like three times. But I also like there was one where like it's kind of like every time Joe is in a different, like, universe, or if they're... Scenario. Anytime they're doing anything, like... Like, if they're dressed up like superheroes, he's Professor X. Like, yeah. Like, you know, it's like... <laughs> he's he, always in a wheelchair. He can never, like, not, like, you know... Because the show will get kind of, like, meta, and, like, they'll go to parallel universes and stuff. Like, you know, they did the whole Star Wars, like, movies. That was, with that was guy good. Character. Right, that, was, that was awesome. You know, like, I think, like, he would have been... He was in a wheelchair whenever he was in that, right? Yeah, Oh like, I think he was no. job, he was Jabba the Hutt, but Jabba yeah. the Hutt like sits in a chair. Like, yeah. You know, so it's, but there was even one where like he, they're going like this this like psychic is reading like their past lives, and he was an octopus in his past life. And he's like having a flashback. He's like, yeah, and then a shark immediately comes and just eats all his legs. Yeah, so he's like never able to like yeah. just have legs. But what I like about Joe, uh, honestly, is not even like the uh, necessarily the wheelchair. Like jokes, I I think what makes him funny is like how he goes like zero to sixty. Like he'll just be like talking, and then he'll just start. He'll emphasize it, like you yeah, know, like yeah. he'll just like <laughs> he'll just start yelling it's for an no emotional reason. Guy. He'll just be like, "All right, yeah, yeah," like you know, like and the whole bring it on. He'll be, like, yeah. he'll be like, "Joe, calm, calm down." Nothing's that yeah. serious right now, Joe. But yeah, so I that, that's who that's who I uh, does it have to and, do with? And uh, you know what I like? He's like a good guy too. Like he's like one of the characters in the show. Like he's actually like pretty moral. He never does anything that's like 
<laughs> immoral in like any of the maybe not anything, but like yeah, but he's usually the nicer. He, like, yeah, like yeah. he's never does anything like too problematic. And he's and he's always like, got like such bad like I don't know like it's, it's it never really goes his way either. He always no, has yeah, like a hard yeah. time. Like they're at a funeral on time, him and his wife Bonnie, and like Bonnie's sitting there thinking to herself. I can't wait till Joe's in a casket. Oh, yeah, like, his wife, like, hates him. And, like, now. he like, didn't even yeah. hear her say it. He was like, me too, Bon. And she was like, did I say that out loud? He was like, nah, but at this point, we've been married so long, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> and I was like, jeez, man, that's terrible. Oh, man, yeah, that's pretty dark. <laughs> but that, that's 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 how family guy can be. Right, right. I mean, you know, it, that's that's part of the, the humor is it's kind of making fun of the world and right. the darkness in the world. So but, I got, you know. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like... Yeah, compared Joe to like a quagmire, like Joe Joe's a better person, way better so, person. Yeah, yeah, you know. What, what, Mike? Who would you say is your? So, I mean, we got Stewie, we got Joe. I can't pick those guys, which I, I wasn't mean, going I, to anyway. I, you could, you could. I'm it's just gonna more have to interesting say, when you don't pick the same person. I'm torn, man. I'm torn. I don't want to sound like I'm giving a cop out and saying Peter Griffin, which I mean, he obviously is my favorite character. But Mayor Adam West, the old well, no, Mayor that's, Adam West. We're going to do a side characters next, so... It's like main character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick stick to... Uh... I don't have to go Peter then, man. Peter Griffin, to me, is just the all-time funniest cartoon dad. I think the all-time... Really? Funniest TV dad in general. Wow. And Peter Griffin is just that guy, man. He always gets himself into like, such a crazy situation. And, like, always gets out of it. Always gets wow, out of man, it. Like... No. I mean, he and he's always got, like, these antics, like... <laughs> I mean, something comes to mind where he, like, buys a horse. Just yeah. on a whim. He'll always, like, buy these crazy <laughs> like, things. And he gets involved in all these like, crazy antics. But really, you would say he's the best? Team. Yeah. Like, he's just, he's just... I feel like he's, like, nearly, like... He's nearly, like, a like a sociopath. Like, I know. He doesn't, but... like... Th- like I feel like he does not have, like, that much endearing kindness. Especially in, like, no... Now, ones. when you say best, do you mean, like, morally the best? Well, yeah, or, like... All, all around. You gotta have like, like a side that's. that's like, I think morally the best. Be a dad. I think the moral, like morally, I'd say Cleveland Brown. I'd say is he like nicest character, but like my yeah, favorite yeah. main right. character is Peter Griffin. Okay. Yeah. No, but you were saying he was the best cartoon dad. Yeah, I think so. My, that, in my, in that my was opinion, my objection. Not, not you know. I don't think Dyfus would clear him, but you know, I think <laughs> I'd, I, you know, people would laugh at him. I think, yeah, I think he's my favorite cartoon dad. All right. Like the right. one time Lois was mad that like him and or her and Peter don't do anything anymore, and he's like, "What are you talking about? Just yesterday, I let you watch me eat all those hot wings, <laughs> <laughs> or something. I let me let uh, let you watch me complain about hot wings, and it was just, like a scene of him like drenched in hot sauce, all these wings everywhere, and he's like complaining to Lois, "How can you let me eat all those hot wings?" <laughs> and she was like. I gotta take the kids to school, Peter. So it's just like <laughs> that all happened like early in the morning. Like he's just so funny, man. He always gets himself in a situation. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just I feel like it's a bold statement to say he's the best television dad. It's my. It's where I'm gonna stick with that statement. Right, no, I mean, I'm putting my foot down, Joe, and that's my statement. I don't, know, Anthony. What would you would you say he's the best television dad of all time? Like cartoon wise? No, no. Well, he's saying of all time. I'm general. saying in general. I mean, on the spot like this, probably, I want to say yes. Can't really think of anyone else. But I feel like if I got more into it, I feel like they're definitely, definitely. Is See, I'm not even thinking of somebody that. else, but I'm like, I'm just, I'm not going like, to commit to Not Peter statement. Griffin, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will, I will. He's, in, in my, he's my favorite. All right, all right. It's a personal thing. So, like, one of the things about, um, one of the things about Family Guy, too, is, is the show is really known for, uh, you know, it's cutaway gags, which we're actually going to be talking about next, in the next segment. Um, but it's also these these side characters that just show up, you know, briefly. And, and uh, you know, like uh, Bruce. Is, <laughs> is one, like, is he their neighbor? I'm hey not now. even sure. Yeah, like... But he's like, his running gag is, I'd say there's two. Like, there's one, he, he has like a, I guess it's like his boyfriend... That he like is never seen, but he's always he's always calling for Jeffrey, right? Yeah. But they showed him actually in the newer season, which I was like not too happy about. Disappointed. No. It ruins it's better, the mystique yeah, of Jeffrey. It's better just like Jeffrey be unseen, but also he like anytime they needed someone to have like a job in the town, like he'd be like the DMV guy. He'd be the movie theater manager. Right. Like he'd be the bartender. <laughs> like 
So you got like characters like that, you know, uh, you know, Mayor Adam West, which I feel right, like you're gonna right. pick, so I won't I won't go too much Better not. into that. But yeah, I'd say Family Guy is very famous for these side bit characters. So with that, you know, I guess Mike, who who's your favorite? And why uh, is it Mayor Adam West? I'm gonna have to go with Mayor Adam West. And uh I think it's because he's just so goofy and like he can get like well, you got you got to give that to Adam West, the actual Adam West passed yeah. away. He, and it is well, it is he it is Adam West by yeah. Adam West. And I mean, just the delivery of the jokes, like when he was eating taffy that one time, and it was just like a minute of him like moaning and like chewing on taffy. But I laughed the entire time well, because it was just hilarious. But yeah, like so, I guess to like describe like Mayor Adam. So West, yeah, Mayor Adam like, West is the mayor of Quahog. And he is not, a, yeah, he is not, yeah, in Rhode Island. He is not fit to be a mayor, I don't think. He has no intelligence. Well, he's, like, delusional. He, yeah, he's weird. I like, think schizophrenic. I mean, he really? butter himself up for the game. He was like, you can never go catch me. No, no, that, that was guy. another guy. Yeah. That's yeah. the green stuff, deaf guy. You know Mayor Adam West? The, the mayor. Always, he's always in the suit and, like, yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> just, like, a, like, <laughs> letter, like, you barely ever see him either. I don't too. say this a lot, but he's just a buffoon. But I'd say, like, one of my favorites of his, like, weird things that he would be doing, like, because he was always, like, pa- you're, you're going right, like, he was paranoid and, yeah. like, convinced people were trying to get him, but, like, it's, like, trick-or-treating, people come to his house and he's giving out, like, Cornish game hens with, yeah. like, like, tiny roasted chickens, <laughs> and he's got tongs, and he's just <laughs> handing them yeah. to, like, children, <laughs> he's like, a Cornish game hen for you? Everybody gets a Cornish game hen. Yeah, like, stuff like, like that. He's always, like... In his own world, and and but just the delivery of all the dialogue, man, it's just too perfect for me. I think Mayor Adam West is, is I think, the funniest character. No, yeah, I, no, the yeah. Family Guy, man. Aside from Peter, no, yeah, I, okay, yeah, yeah no, that's, go no, that's a, that is a great side character choice. And rest, rest in peace, to Adam yeah, West. and he, he did pass away, and they they retired the character, which I think is is. A but good, there's a good new character. Adam. That was necessary. There's a new Mayor West, though. Yes. I bet it's not Adam West. Yeah, it's yeah. Mayor something West, I forget. But yeah, who's voiced by... Um, what's his name? He played yeah. Otis's Cow. Sam, and... Sam... What's that guy's name? Sam... He did Otis the Cow from Back yeah, at the Barnyard's right. father's voice. Here, and uh, you, you pick who, who's your favorite, and I'm going to pull up... I, I'm kind of torn between, like, three. Two of them aren't really, like, relevant characters where you see them a lot, or they had a lot of, like, screen time. But either Evil Monkey... Death, death, or Herb. Mm. That's a good one. Or Herb. Oh, Herb, it, Herb. Herb. I'm gonna have to pick Herb. I, I like Death just because how like randomly he'll show up for like the dumbest occasions. Yeah, Peter, you gotta come with me. You're dying now. <laughs> yeah. Peter's like, like, what's going on? Like he just. He kind of was like a up. hippie. Almost. Yeah, like. And Sam Elliott. Is Sam, the, Elliott. Sam Elliott. He's very famous for playing cowboy West. types in right in a lot of movies, including uh the Big Lebowski. He's yeah, he's there you go. But. So, yeah. Sorry, Ann. I, okay. I just wanted to sorry. get that in. I think Death, because like he's just so laid back. Like He's a total opposite of like what I'd see as a Grim Reaper. Like he's just so, Yeah, like, for one, he talks. He's, he's like, so, I mean, yeah, like, he has no like, face. He's so calm about everything. Like, all right, it's time to go. Um, well, almost like irritated. Yeah. He's like, doesn't really want to do it. The, like, the evil monkey for me... I just love how like he just terrifies Chris. Well, for, like, who is the evil monkey for like the listeners, though? Like... The evil monkey is this monkey that hides in Chris's closet and comes out and terrorizes Chris from going in his closet. <laughs> like, no one believes him. Yeah, or like, like, Chris is always going like, his family about it. I think that's why he just has the same clothes on. He never goes time. in the closet. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, I don't and know. They're just, they, they, <laughs> they, did, they did have a segment, though, where they, like, explain the evil monkey like more like his backstory and everything yeah. and like yeah. he had this like depressing life like his like wife divorced him and stuff <laughs> i'm pretty sure like left him with like he had n- all his kids were taken from him and he just locked in this, this dude's closet and like he just came out well wasn't he trying to save chris or something like i think so no, always like pointing I, at something yeah like he was just trying to like tell him something it was like his he, job like he, he was like working to do that <laughs> yeah like, 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 like i'm pretty sure he had nothing else to do and then he left in like a suit and tie i'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I don't know i don't really remember that well but i just remember this, the whole segment was just like his life was so sad <laughs> he just got <laughs> no, left in this closet that. like his wife leaves him with the kids he's poor now bankrupt he's just in some kid's closet like showing his teeth pointing at him 
And that's like the beauty of Family Guy. You could have <laughs> such like a like a obscene, like obscure character, and then like bam, they hit you with like a like a derailment of like, yeah, no, this character has a whole backstory, and like this is this character's yeah. life. It's just yeah. it's just hilarious. Like you could pick up any episode, and you're just yeah, always entertained right, for real. I mean. And I, I guess to kind of finish the the conversation around, uh, I'd say my favorite side character is Carter Pewterschmidt, <laughs> who is uh, who is Lois Griffin's father, and he's like this rich wasp, and he like he hates Peter, especially the early <laughs> episodes, because like I mean, there's like it, I'd say it's like a lot about like class, you know. Like, I'd hate Peter if yeah, he was like, married to my. Peter's daughter. like working class Irish Catholic, like. And, and Carter's, like, you know, country club, wasp, like, old money. Right. And, you know, I, I yeah, I, so, yeah, he's always just, like, he's just, like, a cartoon caricature of, like, that type of person. Just so elitist and so pompous and, like, miserable. <laughs> and, like, I just remember, you know, like, the, yeah, he, yeah. So, that, that, I'd say, I'd say, for, for time injuries, I want to keep moving along. But yeah, I'd say he's my Carter Peter Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's got. Yeah. That's he's a good one. That's a good one. No, that is solid. It's like something I feel like not a lot of people would pick. No, yeah. I'm being fair. Oh, well, I mean, we it are is good, we are highly, highly original, original in this Anthony. podcast. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's a jail. So I guess to uh, round out this uh, discussion, I'm just real quick talk about like the impact of Family Guy, like. It's influence as a show. Like... I mean, a lot for me, personally. You know, but that's... All right, but, like... I mean, no, I mean, and we, can, we can touch on that, but I guess I was, like, talking more of, like... Um... You know, like, on adult animation. Like... Like, yeah. Like, yeah, the like influence I, it had on, like, on the product. I mean, like, I'd say, like, it's... It's use of cutaway gags is, like, what the show is known for. So, it, it's usually, like... Two characters will be talking, and then one of them will be like, "This situation reminds me of, you know, when like for instance, there's one more like the wily coyote finally caught the uh, the road runner, and then like it shows him catch the road runner, and nothing else. And to he, do after. he goes, no, like, that was Seth MacFarlane's cavalcade of cartoon oh, comedy. Yeah, but it's still Seth MacFarlane, still Family Guy they, animation. I think they put it in Family Guy though. Yeah, I think, I think so. I remember it was like he finally called him. Yeah, rope, he goes rope, home. Bang. He's all happy. It was he ends up becoming like, like a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I think, I think it, maybe in the in the, the cavalcade of uh, comedy. That's funny. He reused that. I don't remember that. Yeah, I think in this one he's more like he like he just has no purpose anymore. Yeah, like the whole like, time, and then finally yeah, he's like, he, and that's he why he got the family ate it. And they're like, all right, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> He's just like, oh, I never thought oh, maybe, of maybe the, and Like, the end of the bit was, like, him telling the story to somebody, and he was like, nah, if you just got a second, I'd like to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you are, you are, you are. You, <laughs> you know, are, know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think for how, like, you said, how did Family Guy, like, impact, like, either, I guess, the industry. Yeah. I feel like definitely it had a big impact. Like, you see, like, shows like American Dad. You can definitely tell shows of that nature are, like, influenced by... Family Guy. Well, yeah, I mean, they're created by the same. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. American Dad, what came out two thousand five. Yeah, and then you said Family Guy nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think like shows like that, they're all kind of like revolve around Family Guy in a way. Or like they're held up like, as standard of Family Bojack, Guy, maybe. Bojack, I think, is also like a branch off of like a Family Guy type of show, like not really like the same so, show. Like a Brickleberry. I, shows I, can, like I, that. I so I can understand what you're maybe saying with Bojack. Like, Bojack had a lot of visual gags in the background yeah. going on, and they would have like random like fantastical adventures on the side story. So I mean, like that could be that could be some of uh, some of the impact uh, of Family Guy. I'd be interested. Uh, yeah, I'd be like, interested what other animators would say about Family Guy's right. um, influence on their work. I you know I'm not sure. I mean. I wouldn't, th- like, when I think of BoJack Horseman, like, I don't think of Family Guy, but, like, there are, uh, artists do influence each other in, like, unlikely ways. Oh, yeah, though. right. Like, that does happen, like, like, you'll see a lot of pop stars, when they're interviewed, like, oh, who's your favorite, like, musician? They'll say, like, these random, like, metal artists. You right. Know, like, or you ask at- the metal artists, and they'll say, like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, like, Madonna, yeah. like we love the Backstreet Boys. Right. Like, it really is. It, it can be like that. So, 
I mean, Mike, you were kind of touching, like, you'd say your your work, you feel like, is inspired by Family Guy? Or? Yeah, 100%. When I, like, when I was younger and I saw Created by Seth MacFarlane, I said, whoa, someone, like, who made this? Like, and I just did all this research as to who he was and, like, interviews about him talking about making his first, like, thesis film and, like, his the pilot for Family Guy and all these different projects really inspired me. I was like, man, I want to make an adult, like, animated cartoon show one day and do something similar and that's kind of what I'm doing right now you know no, yeah. and I'd say it's directly inspired by Family Guy and Seth MacFarlane no yeah yeah. no that's yeah like I, like, I guess like I don't know if you, maybe like you don't want to answer this but like in in what way would you say I'd say just in that it's it's you know a comedy it's animated and I want my show to be able to pick off and start at any moment, any episode, people can watch, and they're always entertained. Yeah, it's and like it's non-linear. Non, yeah, right. like, but mostly not from an artistic standpoint of like visually, like like actual art, like more so just storytelling. And I don't know, if it's very insp- in, you know inspiring to me. I love I love seeing created by Seth MacFarlane, the opening intro with the theme, and it's cool, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I, I always wanted to do that. Yeah, no, and and that's yeah, that's that's great, like. Yeah, I, I would definitely, I would imagine that it's had a lot of impact on, on the whole industry right. as well. Yeah. But kind of to round out our our episode, guys, I, I just wanted to like talk about, um, you know, maybe some internet challenges. Do you guys remember like the internet challenges? Like Mike and I were talking about this <laughs> earlier, like the Tide Pod challenge. Right, bleach, cinnamon the, challenge. Bleach. Like when people started drinking bleach. And then like the milk really? crates. Oh, yeah, the milk crate rounds, the milk crate. No, yeah, they, what? They, they, they would stack up the milk crates and people would try to like climb over them. No, I... yeah, like people get to the top, they got bad. Like a lot, everyone, a lot like... of people got hurt from it. It was like so they got milk crates and they basically make like a pyramid of them, but it wouldn't be like structured. Like, yeah, not a pyramid, no... more so like steps going all okay, the way up yeah, and yeah. down. And okay. the whole goal was to walk up the steps and walk down the other side. But a lot of people were pushing them over, and people were falling, and they're falling from, like, 10 feet of crates. Not even, like, and you don't even need to get pushed over, though, bro, because, like, once you get to, slip. like, 10 mil crates high, it just has no... Yeah, it's just a stupid there's challenge. There's no structure. It's just a straight wall. There's nothing, no base holding it up. It's just a whole bunch of mil crates. It's standing on a whole bunch of mil crates, and get pushed over, you're done. You lose your balance, you're done. You're going to hit your side on a mil crate when you fall from 10 feet. That's not going to feel great. People yeah. have broken their arms... Like, it got bad. The, like, people were going to public parks and, like, really setting these stuff up as, like, events. And, like, people were posting them on, like, their Instagram stories and as reels on, like, Snapchat and stuff. Posting them everywhere. Just for people to come out and just basically get hurt. So it's a pretty <laughs> dumb challenge, I guess. Well, like, so I, yeah, I never heard of that <laughs> one. But, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't, man. I yeah, mean, it's pretty big. I remember, like, the cinnamon challenge. One, but I, I used to, like, did you guys ever do any of those? Uh, I tried cinnamon. I, I didn't do like a full. How to go? Um, and what, what? So what was the cinnamon? You had to like eat. You get a full. You, you have like to get a big spoon. Cinnamon, you have to get right? a big spoon, right? And you have to fill the whole spoon up with cinnamon. Just eat it, like one you bite. Choke. Eat it. You, you can't. You basically, it just dries out your mouth. Oh god. And it just hurts. Terrible. It I don't know hurts. why he did that, guys. I don't yeah, know why he did that. I didn't that. really last that long with it. Uh, you need a lot of water, a lot. Yeah, like burns you your eat. throat, right? Right. You just, your mouth's dry. So, like, you really can't move anything in your mouth. Like, your tongue's stiff. Your whole mouth's dry. Your throat's dry. It <laughs> paralyzes no, it, it, like... It, like, it really does, because then you got all the powder, and you're just, like, inhaling it. But you're trying to take a breath, because your mouth's so dry. And, like, you're kind of screwed. You just got to drink water, spit all the cinnamon out. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, it's, that's uh, terrible. Not, not, <laughs> I, I didn't do a full spoon of it. How much did you do? I did, like, half a spoon. Okay. Like, you're supposed to, like, pile up the spoon. Prove right? it. Get some cinnamon. Get a spoon. <laughs> all, right, all right. Let's do it right now. Live. No. Yeah. With, with no camera. <laughs> just, just audio. Just audio. Just audio of, like, choking. No, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, did you ever do any of like, that? I mean, there was this one challenge I did where you had to eat some, like, nasty what? green stuff, but then I realized, like, oh, no, this isn't a really hard challenge. This is a diet, and I'm eating a salad. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't try any of those challenges. No, yeah. I mean. I have I brain cells, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, and you know, and people get, like, concerned about that. I know, like, parents were, like, freaking out and stuff. I mean, I never did any of them. But I remember, like, a few years ago, what was it? It was the Tide Pod. Yeah. Like, where you, what? You it just look, it eat looked, a Tide Pod. Eat yeah. a Tide Pod. 
this I, looks I, colorful and I mean, delicious. I mean, it's not like, you know, it's terrible, but... Well, the thing is, it was like... Well, it's natural selection, it man. Like, it's not <laughs> terrible. Who does that? If you, if you eat a Tide Pod, I'm sorry. No, yeah, I mean, you're eating chemicals. You're on your own. Well, it, well the, the, the thing was, it was like... Uh, Mommy bird throwing the baby out of the nest. It was like... <laughs> See if it flies. It was... <laughs> It was teenage, right? It was like kind of like dumb, yeah, dumb teenagers like doing it, or like maybe tweens, right? You know, I mean, I feel like it was like mostly teens, and then like maybe you had a couple adults that really? like had like I don't know. I mean, I could imagine like that one like twenty year old who like smoked cigarettes outside of high school all day. Okay, maybe he tried it. <laughs> I mean, maybe for clout. I, yeah, I yeah, I never, I, yeah, I never really understood the. Uh, well, is it all for just, like, Internet. is it, like, for views? Like, I think it is yeah. just for yeah. just for views. Because there was a guy named Shoe Nice, and he had, like, a whole channel about just eating and drinking things you're like, not supposed to put in your body. Litter cat stuff? litter, yeah. shampoo. He would do, like, a shampoo challenge, just chug shampoo. Oh, God. He was sick, really. Oh, my God. God. I, no one knows where Shoe Nice is. No one knows. Really? Now, I, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but I think, like, he stopped making disgusting videos. <laughs> Like, His doctor was like, "You will die. Like, you're gonna die, you're going to die if you drink. If you if you inhale one more Your liver's old spice yeah, body spray. No, do that. Like he would chug like obscene amounts of alcohol that like could kill a man. Jeez. Like, but like not just that. Like shampoo and. All right, guys, we're gonna drink three bottles of this mouthwash. Let's see how. Good yeah, no, nah, like, the mouthwash. I mean, this. I will say like I feel like that that challenge stuff's not really as popular as it was. Yeah, but Almost dude, like vines. Or, like you don't... Or is it still... But like, it is, though, because you didn't know the milk crate challenge, bro. Like, that's... I'm surprised. That when, was viral. Uh, when was that? It was like a year or two years ago? Yeah, that's like 2021. Like, right after COVID and people started going outside yeah. again. And let me ask you this. Do you think we're going to see more dumb challenges? Or like like you said, is that something that's dying out and progressively just won't be around? No, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I think there'll definitely be more. I just don't think the let's, scene will be as big. Let's make one right now. Nah. <laughs> like people did like the Warhead challenges where they eat a whole bunch of them sour candies. Yeah, but like, that's not going to kill you though. You know, that's true. It well, cut your tongue right, open though. The one I want to um, do is the one chip challenge. I want yeah, to do, I want to do that on the podcast, but Mike wouldn't do it. I'm not. Yeah. I'll never do that again. Yeah, I was like Joe. I don't think I could do that on a microphone. It was like I'm sick. <laughs> oh yeah, I was sick. I was actually sick. Yeah, it was like, it was... Have you ever, have you ever <laughs> even, like tasted one before? What? The one chip challenge? No. You don't want to. Did you do it? They, yeah, they made a new one though, and it's it stains your tongue blue. So when yeah, you eat it, the pack when you eat it, people don't believe you. Your tongue turns blue. Okay. Do you remember the Kylie Jenner challenge? The lip challenge. The lip ch- yeah. That was a big one. What? 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 what you get what like a doing? shot glass or a cup, and you just like apply suction. Like you put it on your upper lip or bottom lip, mostly both your lips, and you just start sucking into it, and, and you your lips just like your lips kind of take fill the space in the cup basically, and they like all the blood cells start like bursting, and yeah, your lips become and huge. It, and it was all just to take like an Instagram and selfie. Some girl, right? like some that girl's was lips, like what it would be. Some right? girl's lips actually like pop. Yeah. Oh, no, now, no. see, I wonder if that's true. I believe it's true, but like you remember, like the co- like the Pepsi and Mentos. I mean, the Pepsi and like Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. Yeah. Supposedly, this like kid did it, and like like his throat exploded. Well, oh, I did that. I did that, but like, when I was a guy, I'm just, just, I'm just I saying. I took Pop and then drank soda, and it was like, oh. Yeah, no, I'm just saying though. Like, like supposedly you could die from that. Like, I wonder if a girl's oh, man, lips. I didn't know that. Well, I wonder if a girl's lips really blow up from the cup challenge. I believe it though. I believe yeah, all your blood Kylie Jenner, Jenner lips, challenge, like, and, and people's lips would get so big. Like, you have to go to the doctor or the hospital for that because your lips get so like swollen. Like, mm-hmm. it's not normal. Like, your all that blood should not be in your lips. Like the banana, will, they will tear. The banana and Sprite challenge. That is real. It's a real a gallon challenge. of milk. Cha- dr- trying to drink a gallon of the milk. The paprika challenge. Oh, this is stupid. Yeah, yeah the gallon. Yeah. Stupid. It, it, it is though, and that's the thing. Like that's why I got to look at the I people remember, that do this. I remember Kylie Jenner got like criticized around her lips because like she clearly has like fillers. Right. But she was like selling the Kylie lip kit. And, like, <laughs> oh yeah, you can look like me. But and, like yeah, people were like, right. no, they can't because they can't afford to get lip fillers. Like yeah, so, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars of plastic you know, surgery. I mean yeah, it's like so. I mean I, don't know, I just remember that was like. People, yeah, man. people in Kylie's lips have caused a lot of problems right. for this country. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you there. No, nah, I mean, nah, 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 I'm kidding. But I, I do think like the crazy challenge just kind of died with the Tide Pod movement because I feel like that was the most that was, 
That was the pinnacle of just yeah. Like, I feel like <laughs> like countries that do not like this country are probably just looking to themselves like, should we even bother doing anything to them, or should they just like take care of themselves? <laughs> like their 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 youth are eating Tide Pods. Yeah. So yeah. Random topic. You guys remember when they made the game Flappy Bird and they yeah. had, and they had to ban it because people were killing themselves over it. Whoa. You remember? You don't remember that? They the game. Now, like, you can't, now that you're saying it, you can't like, get like there was a point where the extinct. game was. Completely like off limits off of every app store. I do remember it. Yeah, it got taken down. Yeah, it was a great pe- game. People, were, people were literally killing themselves over scores. Was it? A it challenge? was insane. It wasn't a challenge. That's like, a horrible challenge if you. Well, I guess like where they just got like obsessed with it. Like it, it was. It, it was so hard. It, in my eyes, it was one of the first like big mobile games. I think. On I the, think Angry Birds on, on the phone. Yeah. Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, Fruit Ninja. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, but I think it was the most like. Challenge in one because you had a score to beat. There was a number there for people like. Dude, I remember when we first got our first like iPod touches or like iPhone one or whatever it was. We had just had an app and Joe probably had it too. You just it's literally a lightsaber and all you do is yeah. hit it and it goes. <laughs> and the, the, we, the lighter. Yeah, the, the lighter. Yeah, like, dude, I would sit there. Beer, you would like fill up. <laughs> yeah, so many dumb like dumb early things. Apps. You know that was before the. But we were like this. This, this technology this is like crazy it's we're it in was. the future I remember, it was insane <laughs> I have a lightsaber yeah, like, in my pocket it's great it, it, would, like, it would change like a revolver and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would change crazy. the color of your screen too the lightsaber yeah, would change the color of your screen yeah. the lightsaber it's pretty far yeah. yeah uh what a time to be alive when the when smartphones the advent right. of the right. smartphones <laughs> yeah. no yeah but I guess with with that, um, you know, uh, just remember to uh, like and subscribe to us on Instagram, uh, and you can follow us, subscribe to us on your streaming platform of choice. We are on Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. Merchandise is on its way, guys. And Mike, I don't know if you have anything else to add. Just keep listening, keep following. Yeah, no. Like, and, share with your friends, man. And Anthony, thank you for coming Let's on. Thank you. My bro. pleasure, my pleasure. It's a pleasure being here. Great podcast. All right, thank I you. definitely tune in. Would you say it's would you say it's highly listeners. highly original? Say, say it. it. I think say it. No, say it. I, I think it's say it. It is. Alright, so we're yeah, we're <laughs> we're done then. Alright, guys. Yeah. Take All right, care. Alright guys, take care. Take it easy.